Julian and Humalan Butterfly Sanctuary Art Gallery. Ah, yeah. uh, this is the world map which you will see uh, representative specimens all over the world. Each country is uh, represented by the butterflies. So Australia, uh, you have the nice ones, you know, very beautiful butterfly, the mountain blue, that's the papilio ulysses. We have the garden, and then the collection proper inside, and then the last part would be the art gallery. Okay. okay. Now, I think you know more. You see, this butterfly now, it's in season, and it's everywhere, you know? You can see they're flying everywhere because they, lay their eggs on that tree that's a cherry tree so you will note that they're all over you know a recording of the local species in the area and then we started planting the entire area with the food plants or the host plants of these butterflies so in effect we really didn't want to import butterflies from the outside and then introduce them here no we work on with the butterflies we have in the vicinity because uh, our concept is that to have a butterfly is free. In other words, they come and go. Yeah. But we have three species in, the, in this uh, area uh, which actually uses this uh, wild vine as their food plant, you know? Uh, two are not in season. Uh, when, the, when is season for that? Uh, the other one starts June up to uh, late November, early December. And then the other one is actually in year round but we don't see the female hovering around you know it's just somewhere in the area then mm -hmm. uh, this is a very typical filipino garden with the flowers common flowers you see on the on the edges but then the flowers inside are flowers from the wild but here now you have butterflies they are breeding pairs actually we have four breeding pairs here uh, normally we allow people here but since they are breeding we are, uh, you know, uh, restricting the entrance. You can take pictures. Uh, those uh, sponges there, you uh, see those sponges? They are actually dipped in honey because they serve as an alternative feeding area for the butterflies. Uh, normally, early in the morning, they would prefer the flowers when the next time is fresh. They are very graceful fl flyers, sir. And uh, you will note that uh, these butterflies uh, they're not really high flyers at all. And they're very easy to, to net in the wild. You know, what, they, what we usually do is once the eggs are laid and the larvae are hatched, we set them free. So that's got sugar on it? <laughs> honey. Oh, <Yeah>. honey. <laughs> okay. You want to photograph? <laughs> cool. Laying. It's laying. And maybe you can take a picture of it. You can see the abdomen uh, bent then that's a, that's a sign of their laying Ready. the egg. Okay. See, so now you, have, you will have more butterflies in the garden. So the best time to come is March, Summer, April? Summer, yeah. The bigger the butterflies, the longer the lifespan. The smaller the butterflies, the shorter the lifespan. Uh, the longest living butterfly, or rather the longest lifespan, are the monarchs. Mm -hmm. They live up to a year, but this species, this white one, live only up to two to three months. Butterflies. The two ones, these are the newly hatched. The ones were attacked, the three ones, the top uh, three, uh, no, the three below are all dead. Excuse me, sir. They're all dead because they were attacked by spiders. I'll show you the newly hatched. They cannot fly yet. They only hatched this morning. That's a newly hatched one. See? Um, these are newly hatched. These two. Okay. These ones were attacked by spiders. The gold pupa are live pupa. So that, one's, so that might hatch tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is the entire life cycle. From the time the egg is laid and then hatched into a larva, and then transforms itself into a pupa, and then until the adult emerges, it's about 55 days. So they all wear perfume, so it's attractive. Yeah. You have here in the Philippines. In fact, you have this in Bohol. Okay. It's very, uh, it's, 
you know, in the butterfly garden in Bohol, you can see this really in the garden because they had the advantage there of about just a half kilometer away, they have really, really a thickly uh, forested area. Yeah. So the butterflies there just come and go. You see, this one is the female, bigger than the male. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this species is only found in Cebu. Ah. Okay? It's similar to those you have, uh, to those which you find in the other islands, but ours is more beautiful. It's yellowish. Okay. Uh, this is how butterflies protect themselves from their predators. Now, this butterfly here, this group is called the dead leaf butterflies. Why? When the birds are after them, okay, birds are the number one predator of this group. Now, when the birds are after them, they alight on a twig, close the wings, and then look. Yeah, these are all butterflies. Dili Nisha, this is not down. You can see the antenna. You know, it's really a leaf, right? You see? It's only the, you the know. Morphos in South America. Mm -hmm. These are the brightest butterflies. It looks like an owl. Yeah, the eyes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, this is a way to protect themselves from birds. You know, owls are bigger predators, right? Yes. So the smaller birds are afraid of owls. There are certain uh, moths that fly during the daytime, and oh, okay. they are brighter. Uh, in fact, one of the most beautiful moths in the world, that one, could, you know, compare with bright colored butterflies. That's a moth that comes from a streamline for butterflies and usually stout or big, okay? Then usually wings close when at rest. Butterflies, they close when you saw that. And the moths are open when they are resting. Okay. Trade her stuff with this kind of person. Yeah. It's and Zenzis, the local uh, Sidus. He was primarily a painter, by the way. When he was a student, uh, he was already collecting butterflies. But in the process of his uh, collection, he found out that some butterfly wings are damaged. So, you know, uh, not wanting to throw them away, he thought to himself, as a painter, why don't I use these natural colors in my painting as a medium? We want to make it clear that he only used damaged wings. You cannot possibly duplicate that in butterflies. Yeah. Though there are butterflies with that red color, but he found out that these colors fade eventually. So he had to use colors which approximate. These are the butterflies which he used. Okay. They're not really as red as this, but somehow it still gives justice to the, uh, to the, you know, to the painting itself, to the subject. The Butterfly Centre is well worth visiting if you're in Cebu. I took a taxi to get there. The one-way trip from Ayala shopping mall cost about 125 pesos. So if you double that and then add a little bit for waiting time, you can negotiate that with a taxi driver. It's definitely well worth a visit. It's very interesting and fascinating to learn about the butterflies. Thanks so much for watching. For more information on Cebu, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below the video. For more videos on Cebu, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.